Hello, good morning and welcome to this week's video. My name's Emma, stick around for hauls and vlogs and chats. I am uploading a lovely video every Wednesday at 7am. Join me and if you still want more of me, firstly thank you, but I also have a podcast that goes live on a Monday where you can find all good podcasts and I'm always on Insta stories and we are back with a lovely video. This is going to be a, I'm going to do some timestamps. So if there's one bit you're like, I don't care about your new carpet. You can skip and go straight to the B&M hall. Um, I'm going to pop to B&M and get some last minute bits for Easter that I want. And also, I'm hoping they've got some sort of toiletries in. That's what I'm hoping for, toiletry sets. But I can't, I can't remember if B&M does stuff like that. But that's what we're going to do. Um, but also today, which will be after the B&M bit, hopefully we're getting our new carpet uh, on the stairs. But... You might have seen on Instagram, and I will just update you if you just watch on YouTube. Sadly, um, in the past couple of weeks, I can't remember if I mentioned this, a single rat that was left passed away, and a hamster passed away, so that's so sad. And it both, thankfully, it was just in their sleep. There was no, like, illness. There was nothing, just old age. There were both two. So yeah, it's been a it's been a like it's been a real shame because we bought them all on the we bought the two rats and the hamster on the same day, pretty much two years ago around this time of year. So yeah, that was really really sad. We've no plans to get any small mammals because we've gone from having when I started this channel we had a dog and two cats, and then we had a dog and two guinea pigs, and then we had a dog two rats and a hamster, so at the moment we're just going to stick with the dog. The trouble is, I just love the small mammals, I just love them, I just love them. But no, Stephen's like, just let's have a little bit of a, we're going to have a little bit of a break. So yeah, the kids are alright now, but they were both pretty, they are both pretty gutted, especially, um, especially Ethan, but uh, he's, he's much happier today, he went off to school. The, the sun is shining today and he'd done some sort of, discoloration tablet thing on his teeth that he got from Cubs, so he was he was happy this morning. Right, let me show you the stairs as they are now, then we'll go to B&M. This here, it leads up to our cloffice, so it's like a closet, office, loft space. Stephen, are you up there? <laughs> I was like, is anybody up there? And I don't know if you can see, so we've got the carpet done at the top, which is brilliant. This here, can you see, it's pure white, shi like the shiniest, the shiniest shine on the shine that you can ever have a shine, and it's quite steep. And say if I'm going up to the office, or if the kids are running up because our printer's up here to get some printing homework, the amount of slips and slides we've had on these stairs, it is just <laughs> perilous. So I was like, Do you know what, for 2023, I'm just gonna get some carpet. It's just gonna be great. It's not gonna be anything exciting, but, um. I think it's going out of focus. Oh no, I'm focus on me. Uh, it's just going to be grey. But um, it means that I can go to the kids. Could you just run upstairs and get that and not be like, ah, as they go flying down. Even with slippers, it's a bit, even with your slippers, it's a bit slippy. Even with socks with grips on the bottom, it's a bit slippy. So that is the plan today. Right, I'm going to grab my stuff. We're going to go to B&M. Um, I also need to go and pick up uh, a lampshade for Erin's room from Dunelm because over Easter we're going to do that and she's just getting double bed, like new lampshade, new duvet, nothing too exciting. And I also need to, I said on my Insta, um, she's really in, into hockey. I know the hockey season is finishing but she's been doing a lot of sports, uh, extracurricular sports. I think it's I think it's like four times a week and I've not been able to keep on top of washing her sports kit. So I asked an insta story, I was like, oh what what do you do if you've got like a sporty kid? I don't know if you uh can have this. I wasn't a sporty kid. What do you do if you've got a sporty kid? People are like, you just need to get another PE kit, so I've got to go and pick up another PE kit as well. Because we had an incident on Monday where stuff wasn't washed and it was a whole hoo-ha. So I'm gonna do that. A lot of mum mim. Let's go. Also, it's a bit spring-like today, so I put on like a little flowery dress, try and get a bit more light, a little flowery dress and a denim jacket, obviously still got my tights on, but yeah, I'm going to need sunglasses today, what joy. One day we will ha not have tights in England and we will all 
sing a happy, a happy spring dance. I've just popped a headband and my hair's looking a bit... I think it's because I've got no eye makeup on. I'm not used to not having... I usually have loads of eye makeup on. Um, so I've just put a bit of a headband in. Maybe should I just put... Should I just put a bit of... Just put a bit of my... I feel like my face looks like a mole's face. looks a bit bare. Hang on. You'll be like, Emma, you look the same. <laughs> it just feels like... I'm losing it, guys. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Right, come on, let's go. Come on now, let's go. You know your B&M always has an excellent array of chockies and sweets. Notice these kind of reduced sugar Maltesers. What are they like? Not very nice, I imagine. <laughs> so you've got all your Cadbury's, you've got your mini eggs, all those sort of stuff, which we know B&M always have. I really want your help. If you're going to get pup treats from like B&M, Home Bargains or anywhere like that, what is the best one? I got these, which look like the most meaty. So any suggestions, really, really, really appreciate that. They had loads of cute dog toys in and I saw these Easter pet ears, but I thought they'd be too big for my Margot. Then I spotted strawberry room spray. Yes, please. Thank you very much. That's a very spring and summery scent. My boy has become obsessed with Lynx. <laughs> He wanted some Lynx Africa, um, so I actually picked him up the shower gel. Then, of course, I took a stroll down the alley, which is known as Storage Alley. Because, as we know, I am obsessed with baskets, especially wicker baskets. I thought this one was really cute for Easter basket, maybe. And then you could use it for something else. I didn't grab anything, but I could have grabbed a lot. Still on the quest for some fun pillows for my girl's bedroom. She's looking for a shell one, if you ever see one. Please let me know on here or message me on Instagram. I'm yet to see this elusive shell cushion. I need to update our couch blankets because they are old. The dog sleeps in them. So I was thinking maybe like pink ones or I really like this light grey one as well. They've got loads of nice boho homeware stuff in at the moment. Ooh, there I am. Really, really cute bits for the house. Also, I really like these fake wreaths for the front door and they also had I don't know what you would call it like a long stretch of flowers <laughs> display flowers please let me know I thought these were really 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 pretty for the fireplace Easter stuff I was like oh my gosh there's no Easter stuff I can't find anything but I did find a little a few bits on a side rack I love this little Easter bunny and I was like oh this is a bit disappointing and then at the back of the shop well hey a massive Easter display why they're putting it at the back I have no idea had Easter wreaths loads of Easter eggs actually an after eight Easter egg sounds the absolute truth do you know what I'm not sure I've ever eaten an after eight at any other time apart from Christmas why not Maybe I need to ask Stephen if he can get me an after eight um, Easter egg. Love these little plates. I thought they'd be so cute for hot cross buns on Easter or during the Easter holidays. I really, really love them. Also, there was just loads of sweet stuff. Thing Easter bunnies, you put your knives and forks in. <laughs> thought they were lovely. Didn't grab them. But yeah, there was some really, really nice Easter bits actually. And I loved this, but it was a bit broken, which was probably why it was the last one I imagined that I'd got sold really, really quickly. Loads of different wreaths. We've opted for like a bunny one this year, which I think was from Home Bargains a few years ago. Around the corner. Look at the, oh, look at, you know I love a Gnome. Look at them with the little, the little daffs. And finally, I thought these ears were beautiful for three pounds. Really, really loved them. So B&M, you smashed it out the park for Easter. Well done, you. Here we are, we're in the car. Um, Stephen got me this for one of my episode presents. I love it. I fill it with a little Diet Coke. Lovely. So, um, B and M, the Easter stuff. I was like walking around. I was like, I haven't got any. What's going on? And then right at the very back, it's so strange. Right at the very back, they had Easter stuff and they had lots of cute decorations. So I'll go through just some of the bits that I picked up. I was looking for specific items and I pretty much grabbed all of them. I, this was not a specific item. As you lot know, I've 
used pretty much all my old East decorations, but I thought these were nice additions um, for like the kids to have like hot cross buns on or for them to have, I don't know, just little Easter treats. I'm very worried though that they might, they might smash in the journey home. So I'm gonna have to be careful with those. Also for Erin's room, she really wants some LED lights. And if you watch my room, makeover of my little boy's room i got the ones from b&m and they were great and they're really easy to put up so i've got some of those as well these are 19.99 really really easy to put up you just strip the sticker off and you stick them up and they've stayed up and they change colors and i thought right well i know what i'm doing with them she's having them around the ceiling but i have seen tiktoks where people say if you have led lights around the ceiling spiders live in I told her that, but she's happy to go with it. It's gonna make you smile, as I mentioned in the come shot with me bit. My 10 year old wanted links. Not, he wasn't so bothered about the spray, but he wanted links body wash. Very specific links, and it had to be classic Africa smell. <laughs> I've not seen it in um, Home Bargains or anywhere, so I got him that. So, that's what 10 year old boys want. And also, as part of his little Easter, I'm get, I got um, Erin some bits from Home Bargains, like face masks and stuff, didn't I, in the last, so this is one of his little Easter treats. Every time we go to the till at B&M, he's like, can I have magic bubbles? And every time I'm like, no. I'm making his magic bubbles. Wish come true. We are still at Casa Conway, living that dehumidifier life. I'm hopeful this is going to change now the sunny weather's come in. So it, we always have to have a million of these in the house. Um, so I picked up two. I picked up the fan, fantab, fantabulosa, fantabulosa, like fantabidose, fantabulosa smell. And I picked up raindrop, rainbow drops. And I already know that these will be used as soon as I get home because the one, I think the one in my bedroom needs replacing, the one in my girl's bedroom needs replacing. That's what happens when you have an old vintage house with old vintage windows. Look, you, I, I'm prepared that some of you might shout in the comments, um, but I'm doing this with love and I did look and see, right, what do I think's the best one? Let me know the best dog treats. I tend to not get them from places like B&M and stuff, because I'm never sure they're that great. But if you can recommend a really great, healthy dog treat, and I thought this says high in protein, low in flat, gluten-free, um, and it's 100% cod skin. I thought that can't be too bad. So, I mean, I bet these absolutely stink. <laughs> I picked up some cod nuts for the dog, not for, not for the kids. Here, have a cod nut for your tea. But let me know, you might be like, don't go a cod nut. But just let me know what is the best, healthiest dog snack to get. Thank you very much. Many, much love in advance for your advice. And I picked her up, I put back the bunny rabbit because she has got quite a few bunny rabbits. This is a, oh, it's a squeaky ball. Sorry if you've got dogs watching. Um, so this will be Margot's Easter present. She loves getting the presents as Margot. I also grabbed this for my boy. He um, loves hairspray. They didn't have the one he usually has, but I'm sure he'll love this got to be hairspray because he likes to do his hair. Kids are growing up. If you've been here since Ethan was first birthday, you'll be shocked. Uh, also, for my girls' room, I am going to have to because we're repainting the walls. Well, the plan is to repaint the walls, so we'll see if that happens. But anyway, I think I'm going to have to take down the... Um, the IUV and put it back up again, which is gonna be a pain in the bum, so I've got those. And I've got a couple for friends. Command strips are really, really great. But what I will say is, we have had the odd thing fall down in the middle of the night and scare us absolutely half to death. I think that is pretty much it. Oh, I did grab, do I do this in the car? I'm gonna do it with the door open. Febreze Air Miss Strawberry Swell scent. I'm gonna do it with the door open. Oh, it's all on me now. It's all on me now. I'm going to go to Denel. I'm going to go and pick up this peer kit. And they're all going to be like, you smell 
like a mivy and if you can remember that ice lolly you smell like a mivy it's nice strawberry swell scent limited edition nice little scent for the spring and summer so that are the bits i wanted to get the links i wanted to get the hairspray i wanted to get the light so i'm very pleased I wanted to get the humidifiers came i saw i got and now i'm going to go and whiz around and get all the other bits and bobs go home and see where this carpet person is hopefully they're on their way i'll be very sad if we don't get it today but you know what? i've lived with it for two and a half years i'm sure one day one day more won't be too bad right let's go hello lovely ones it's the next day now i the carpet man came like late I ended up being stuck upstairs with Margot because Margot was just going bananas. With anybody in the house, Margot's just like, Rrr. so um, I will show you the carpet now. Just had a little delivery. I should have filmed it because I know you lot would have really laughed. Um, I'm going to see Rocky Horror. Definitely go and check out my Instagram um, if I put a picture up. I might not have done. Um, and I ordered um, two black dresses in the boohoo sale one is perfect that's hung up ready for the creases to hang out this one which will be going back i got like the most amount of stuck that somebody can get in a dress that was me i was in my own house which is fine but i had a meeting at midday and it was like 11 53 and i was like <laughs> <laughs> it was just completely stuck. it was a zip up one there was no giving it whatsoever um and it was a whole thing and i managed to get it off but uh i was like thinking right i could go to the meeting and just put my dressing gown on then i was like but why would i have a dressing gown on and they're like oh it was just a nightmare anyway right let's show you the dresses no not the dresses the carpet i'm losing it guys time for the most an exciting <laughs> reveal. That's not even going to make it because we, we keep it, um, we keep everything. Oh my gosh, it smells so nice. So we just went for a grey carpet and this smells delightful. New car, oh my God, it smells so nice. Um, it's a bit dark because we keep the blinds shut to try and like keep some heat in because obviously the heat all goes out the top because heat rises. Why am I giving you a science lesson? I don't know. But the carpet's here, I'm so excited. I was running up and down the stairs yesterday and it was just an absolute dreamy, dreamy feeling. So that is the one, one of the, the house things we wanted to get done off the list. So we did my boy's room. We did these stairs. The next is my girl's room. She is just getting a double bed and we're just, uh, and we're mixing up some of the pictures. Um, but I've bought a new lampshade. I picked that up. Um, did I show you that? Yes, I can't remember if I showed you. I will do a little show all the stuff before we put the stuff in her room. And the furniture, apart from the bed, is staying the same. It's just going to be a nice, nice tidy. So she really wants a double bed. I think all kids do, don't they? When they're like teenagers, like a double bed's like a real big, ooh, fancy thing. So that will be happening over Easter, I think. So I'll definitely feature that. I've just booked in a trip to Costco with my mum. So that will probably be the next video you see. Also, they've had some like new bathrooms and stuff. So I'll show you that if you want. <laughs> because um, Stephen and I, after we've done Erin's bedroom, the next project on the list is going to be the bathrooms. And I want to go and look at their bathrooms and get some inspo because mum sent a picture this morning. It was so nice. So kind of have a little look there downstairs bathroom is a similar size to ours it's quite big but their upstairs bathroom is big and our upstairs bathroom as you know is like quite small so yeah so there we go a lovely little b &M haul for you a little look at my new carpet so exciting um i'm looking outside and the birds are tweeting and the sun is shining and it feels feels like spring is finally springing feels really nice i gave uh, the kids rooms really in fact i cleaned all the house today before my meeting i cleaned everything so everything's nice and fresh and if you are a mum or if you're anybody that lives with anybody else apart from yourself that feeling when your house is all fresh before everybody else comes and ruins it, ruins it it's a dream the candles are lit downstairs just gorgeous 
anyway i will be back next week for another vlog in the meantime if you want more of me go and check out my instagram i'm on insta stories pretty much all the time and of course um there'll be three episodes of the podcast for you to listen to um this week's uh, podcast is with a really funny Sunday Times bestseller called um, Matt, Man vs. Baby. And also, I'm hoping to record a bonus episode with my sister. All about boy bands. So that'll be good. Right, guys, I love you lot. Have a beautiful week. Let's hope the sun keeps a shining. Um, love you lots, and I'll see you in the comments.